expected to have a competency hearing today. Authorities say that Roof killed the black people in the church during a Bible study in Charleston. The trial started November 7th with jury selection, but was halted earlier this month after a federal judge overseeing the case determined the defendant must first undergo a competency evaluation. A Minnesota man plans to express regret today for the 1989 murder of Jacob Wetterling, an 11-year-old boy whose remains were found in August. Danny Heinrich confessed to killing Wetterling after kidnapping him at gunpoint as the boy biked home from a convenience store. Heinrich now plans to say how sorry he feels for the terrible crimes that he's committed when he's sentenced in federal court on child porn charges. Storm Track 10 meteorologist Alan Gwen has a quick, quick look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Good morning, Alan. Well, good morning. You can see temperatures are nice and cool out there, but we are mostly clear this morning. We've got upper 30s to low 40s, uh, but we'll stay around 42 even at 8 a.m. Working that up to about 54 at 10 a.m., even 60 degrees at the noon hour. But as we look towards lunch hour, well, there we go. We are talking about temperatures in the mid-60s, working our way on up to 69 by 2 o'clock. We have 73 for the high today. We will see a few clouds working their way, for, in their way into the area for this afternoon. Could even see a few showers, especially over there in eastern New Mexico. Now back to news. Alan, thank you. Listen, I'm so excited for those Bushland girls, those Amarillo High Absolutely. girls. Way to go, guys, uh, girls, y'all, yeah. whatever. Yeah, way to go. That's hard work that gets you there. Yeah. That's awesome. And great coaches, too. Coach Udy yes. was under Coach Barker at Amarillo High for so many years. You can see the success is rubbed right. off on the Lady Falcons. It does so. every time she has someone co coaching under her. It rubs off and, and goes to the next school. So congrats to all of you ladies. And uh, I know a lot of fans went to see them. So. Absolutely. Fun it was, stuff. It was nice for New Channelton sports to get down there and be a part of that mm -hmm. and good to see a fourth state championship for Bushland and a tenth for coach Barker alone at wow. Amarillo High. So Impressive. Two successful programs continuing to have success here in the Panhandle. I exactly. Mean, I'd put Panhandle Volleyball up against anybody in the state of Texas. Yes sir, so. me too. Well, when the early show continues in the next half hour, we're highlighting sports action and what you may have missed over the weekend. And the family of a U.S. soldier killed in the line of duty is booed on a commercial airplane. You'll be you can be the judge. Was it warranted? And you need to know everything is on the way, only on News Channel 10. Good morning.